thank you for coming and to listen to us and to have feedback for all of us. Um, I'm going to start my presentation with a story. In 2011, I interned of the heart of the jungle uh, in one of the most important area in Peru to cocaine production. I went there to interview Artemio, the last leader of Shiny Path, that was a guerrilla in Peru that, in, that unleashed a civil war in Peru in 18s. I went there and put my leaf in my leaf in right, my right in leaf, uh, for the same reason that I am here this night with you. I am Romina Mela, an investigative journalist from Peru, and a co-founder of Ideal Reporters, the first digital non-profit investigative media outlet in my country. Uh, our mission uh, is to inform citizens and to demand government accountability. We carried our first story in 2010, and we published until 1,400 investigations about different topics, corruption, organized crime, drug trafficking, politicians, and company extractive industry. We proved in all of these years, in seven years, that with a small team and a few resources, it's possible to make a very good journalist, a high quality of journalist. Uh, in the seven years, uh, because of our story, uh, more than 100 uh, public officers forced to resign in the government. So, uh, more than 10 uh, uh, people were persecuted and now is they are in jail. And we also uh, work in different partnerships uh, with another uh, investigative media outlet uh, in Latin America, and we made co develop cross-border investigation, and we also uh, work in a global uh, investigation like Panama Papers that we won uh, this year the Pulitzer Prize because uh, our this story. And thank you. And now, uh, Ideal Reporters uh, uh, is developed lead a regional investigation about car wash, car wash case. That is the biggest story about corruption in all Latin America, that all of the presidents of all, all of countries in Latin America, they are involved. Um, because of investigative journalists, it's difficult and it's very dangerous. And uh, we take our responsibility to train all of uh, the journalists that work with us in our team. Uh, the training in Krav Maga, uh, this is an Israeli technique in self-defense, because we consider that it's very, very important training in that. Uh, for example, in the last 25 years, 800 journalists in 20 countries were murdered in, a in the circumstances they work. Uh, this week, uh, we had uh, a tragic news about a journalist in Mexico, Javier Valdez. Uh, he, he covered drug trafficking, and he was the author of a column, a famous column, the name is Mala Yerba. That's why for us it's very important to train uh, our journalists. We also train our journalists in digital security because it's very important this, uh, to maintain a safe communication between the journalists or their sources and we also uh, cover and develop cross-border investigation with very complex uh, topics. It's very important. Um, well, now I am here because in these seven years, we only have grants for foundations. And now I am developed the business model for our organization. And uh, we are focused now in two different audiences. Uh, the community of Latin American investigative journalists, uh, and also our readers. Uh, in, in the first step, in the next six months, we are develop uh, a program to train another journalist uh, in Peru, to train in self-defense and digital security. We have the knowledge, and we want to extend that. Uh, we are going to talk with uh, traditional media, and also, uh, to talk with different partnerships, they can finance uh, the training for the journalists. After that, we're planning 
uh, to develop a, a, regional, a regional event about digital security and self-defense. Um, uh, this is uh, the program, uh, 12 weeks of training for 10 journalists and the page for news organization and partnership. This is the, the first program, the beginning. And uh, because uh, we have a very big community, there's a, 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 about a followers on Facebook and Twitter, and, may, and in these four, four months, I talk with a, a lot of uh, different readers of uh, ideal reporters, and they are very interested to support uh, our work. That's why uh, we plan into the next year to launch the uh, membership program. And we consider to divide in two, uh, in two tiers, to standard uh, membership and also to premium membership. Well, thank you very much uh, to listen to me. And if you have any questions or you are interested in our programs about self-defense or digital security or have any advice, please, uh, I'm very glad to listen to you. Thank you very much. <laughs>